Welcome to Plan My Great Win, your guide to a fast, stable, and smooth cloud adoption. My name is Rose Randall, and on this episode, we're going to walk through how to use New Relic to identify application dependencies and inventory, and talk through why understanding the full scope of the application's architecture will reduce the possibility of missed interdependencies during migration. When you're planning a cloud migration, it is important to analyze your current on-premise architecture and identify the scope of work. There will be a few questions that we want to answer before starting the migration. What applications do I need to include in the migration? What are the dependencies of each application? And what are the underlying services inventory supporting these applications? All these are important questions because when you have a full understanding of your application, your host, and the architecture, you reduce the possibility of missing dependencies during your migration and avoid possible outages. Once you have identified the applications in scope, the next step is to install the New Relic agents. You can follow the instructions on in our user interface or refer to our documentation site for more information on installation and configuration. The agents will start gathering metrics and events to be sent over to the New Relic Cloud. And within a few minutes, you will be able to start visualizing your application dependencies with APM. Let me show you what it looks like. Log into your New Relic account and click on Service Maps on the top left. From there, select App Service List. A list of your instrumented services will populate on the left. You may have one or more depending on your APM deployment. Find the application and scope for the migration and select it. In a second, you'll see the map starting to populate. This map allows you to identify any connection to your service, including other application, external services, web services, databases, or APIs to quickly understand the upstream and downstream dependencies of your application. Since anything can happen during an application lifecycle, for example, the application changing ownership, you may come across application or components dependencies that you did not know about. If this happens and you discover unknown dependencies, assess the relationship to your application to determine if the new component should be pulled into your migration plan. Now that you have visibility into internal and external dependencies, you can start creating a migration plan that includes all aspects of your application's ecosystem. The next component to think about is your infrastructure inventory. To get that information, let's head over to the Infrastructure tab. From here, let's click on the Inventory sub-tab. Make sure you're filtered by the hosts which are currently running your application. The inventory will populate on the right. This page gives you visibility into software packages installed on your servers. You will find detailed information about your system's configuration, including details about system modules, configuration files, metadata, packages, services, and user sessions. The inventory page provides a real-time, filterable, searchable view into each host configuration. It is important to note one of the things New Relic will highlight will be the variance within the versions of packages installed, as you can see in some of these items. Use this version information to understand which packages to upgrade and which packages to replicate for your cloud migration. It also helps you track dependencies between the software packages and configuration file, as well as quickly identifying any host with a non-standard configuration. Add this information to your migration plan as you consider the cloud infrastructure that will be supporting your workloads. Today, we looked at how New Relic can help you understand application dependencies and detailed information about your infrastructure and configuration using our service maps and inventory features. With a full picture of your application and the infrastructure ecosystem, you're now well on your way to plan your migration and start prioritizing the components scoped. Thanks for watching this episode of Plan My Great Win. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button below and subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For more details and examples on how to leverage New Relic during the different stages of your cloud adoption, check out the additional links in the description below.